Hello everyone, welcome back to the Python programming series. Today I will be giving you an exercise question on the if else condition statements. Now the problem statement is given as problem find the greatest number. Now the user will give three integer values and you have to print the greatest among those three. So for more clarification, supposedly if I enter 10, 20 and 30 then obviously 30 is the biggest number between them then you have to print 30 now i will give you some hints on how to solve this problem first of all you are going to use if else and if conditions secondly try to write a pseudo code or algorithm on a paper don't just go into coding straight away try to first solve it from your own logic or point of view on a piece of paper or notepad now you can pause the video if you want and I will then do the solution after you resume the video. Now, as many of you might have already solved this problem, then congratulations. Now, first of all, I will give you the logic of how to solve a problem, how to tackle it. Rather than just coding first, you should first know how to solve it in an algorithm and a pseudocode. Now, the problem was that you will be given three numbers. Supposedly, we have three variables, n1, n2, and n3. Now, we are given three numbers. I will supposedly write minus 1, 100, and 27. Now, I have my three numbers. Now, I have to find the greatest between them. How will I make the computer or the program in such a way that it will automatically find the greatest number between three? Now, first of all, I will compare n1 with the other two numbers. So, in, in English statement, I will say that compare n1 with n2 and compare n1 with n3 is n1 greater than n2 and is n1 greater than n3 so our first solution will be as you can see it will be if n1 greater than n2 and n2 n1 greater than n3 then if this is true then obviously our greatest number is n1 as it is greater than all n2 and also n3 so we will just say print n1 now if n1 is not the greatest then we will check n2 with the other two so else if n1 sorry n2 we will go back now we will compare n2 with n1 and n3 so is n2 greater than n1 and is n2 greater than n3 so n2 greater than n1 and n2 greater than n3 we will print n2 now obviously the last condition will also be else if is n3 greater than n1 and n2 then we will print n3 now there is one trick situation supposedly if i enter all the same numbers if i enter 2 here 2 here and 2 here now there is no greatest between them every one is the greatest so we will make an else here in case a user enters something like this and there is no single greatest number everything is equal then we will just say print there is no single greatest number and there you have it that's the pseudocode of how we will write the python program so that is why I try to write an algorithm or a pseudocode first Rather than, than brute forcing and writing the code, you should always make your logic first because it makes it clearer and it makes it much efficient and faster. Now, I will copy this part of the code which I wrote the pseudo code into my Python code. Now, obviously, Python doesn't support curly brackets like this as I was just writing a pseudo code. So, I will change it to Python format. First, I will take my three inputs type cast into integer as we taking input integer values enter first number a 
is my second number. And my last number. Now, after taking my three inputs, I will go back to my pseudocode and change it to Python form. Now, first is the if condition. So, I'll write the if condition here. Now, the if condition states that n1 greater than n2 and n1 greater than n3. So, n1 is greater than n2 and n1 is greater than n3. And my colon. Then, I will indent it like this. And I will say print n1. Now so on, I will just copy the rest of the code same and remove the curly braces and add the columns at the end. And do note that else if is written as elif in Python. Now I'll run the code. End of line while scanning string literal. Oh yeah, I forgot the in double inverted comma. Yep. And I, now I'll enter my first number that is as I wrote in my notepad that it was minus one. Then it was 100. Then 27. As you can see, it is returning the greatest number out of all of the three. That is 100. So that is all for this exercise question and if you did it just like this then congratulations you have cleared the if else condition statement. Now that will be all for this video but before I go do subscribe to this channel and secondly if you want more questions on if else statements then there will be a link in the description to my github repository there are several questions there on python you can solve them and also find the solution there. That will be all thank you.